everybody. I am so excited. Today I have a special guest and it's Joette and we're going to show you, she's going to show you how to make a door hanger and a um, swag, Easter swag. And then I'm going to show you how to make a, um, it's something phone. I'm hearing a phone come in. Joette, is your phone off? It's not. Hello? Oh, it's not. Let me check it. <laughs> oh, goodness. See, it's live. Everything happens on live. So we'll just wait for Joette to turn off her phone. But we're going to make a really pretty Easter um, wreath and a door swag and um, a door hanger. So I'm going to get here so I can see the comments. And we're going to move over to Joette right now. So Joette, are you ready? I'm ready. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. So oh, okay. um, we're going to get started and Joette is going to, um, is going to get started making a really pretty Easter swag and I'm going to read comments as we're going. All right. So I want to well, thank singing. everybody for watching. It's so great to have you. I've put in my trusty handy the Bo Deborah bow wire and now I'm going to put in some deco mesh behind this. I'm building the back side to the front when I build these and to keep my mesh from fraying I do curl it up a little bit on both ends the top and the bottom and then I'm going to put it in scrunchy style down in the Bo Deborah, and that's already curling on its own that's good. I've got two pieces or you could use a whole piece use what you have so right, Kathy this. Marine Miller, hi from West Virginia, and Pamela Kiefer Canal. I hope I'm pronouncing your names right. I want to thank you guys so much for joining us. And all Joette's doing is basically scrunching her 21 inch wide mesh into the Badabra. So, and then I'm going to add some tails to it. This is a wide burlap that we have at Badabra. Is that the four inch I think yeah that's a four um, inch wide okay well next I'm going to start building the top part and I'm also going to be building the bottom I'm going to turn it sideways I think so she's probably got about it. a yard she's probably got about a yard of mesh in there and it's a 21 okay. inch wide mesh it's it's about Hi, Edna. Two, two two yards I think oh so you've got two I'm yards gonna... of mesh Yes. So what I'm doing to start, I'm going to start adding my greenery and foliage, flowers and everything. I fold, if I have one of something, I fold it in half and I share it from side to side. But I'm doing it a little bit, a little different, bit different tonight, tonight than, I than I usually do when I do, when when I do when a swag. swag. So, so I'm, I'm, normally, normally I build, them, build this them this way. way. I'm, going I'm going to actually, actually go. That's only so the and now I've got okay. some other pieces of foliage and I've hooked it again and I'm going to build it straight down. Here's a piece of eucalyptus or a bush. These are bushes. Now these are some stems that came in a bundle together, probably Dollar General. I'm going to bend a little bit and place them on both sides. I think I the echo should be area. fixed. They were hearing an echo for a while. I think we fixed the echo. So let me know if it's still. And yes, it did get frozen for a second. So hi, Edna. And hi, Pamela. And Gloria. And Lisa. Oh, my gosh, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us, for commenting. And also, thank you, everybody, for sharing. Really appreciate it. All right, I've got two of the same pieces and I'm going to put them across. I don't know if you can see now, I'm doing side to side and I'm going down. And I'll have some things going up in the top in just a second, but I've got these cute little Dollar Tree carrots. I'm going to lay a couple of these in just on this one side. And I've got one more piece of eucalyptus, but I want this to go side to side, so I'm going to bend it and stick it in here. And last piece are Hi, these Rhonda lilies K. from Dollar Tree. I'm, I'm going to bend it. I want these clustered real tight. So I bent it up close and I'm going to put them in. Let's have them go in this direction away from the carrots. But when we're done, it'll all come up to the top. Now I have my cute little Dollar Tree bunny. And I've tightened this already ahead of time. I just pulled the string that comes on it a little tighter and cut it, cut the excess off. 
I want him to hang in the cascade. Maybe you can get an idea of what we're doing now. And last, we'll do our ribbon. And I've got a few pieces of burlap cut. These are about 14 inch pieces. And I'm going to scrunch them in. I do have some loops to add to. I've got burlap, green, burlap, orange, and then natural. And then I'll end up with my Edna carrot says toss. it's cute. Ed, Edna says um, it's cute. And hi, everybody's hearing better. Good, good. Okay, here's my, these are all my tails. I've got them all in. Now I'm going to make some loops. As you can see, I have a ton of stuff put in here. So it's important to take your wand and mash it every little bit. So nothing jumps out before you tie it off. Here's, this is about two yards, yard and a half, yard and a half of carrot toss. And I'm going to just use it till I run out of, I'm going to make as many loops as I can, which should be about four. And I'm going to do the fold and twist until I use this up, which, yeah, it's going to be about four loops. Gloria loves this and Carolyn loves it. And Edna says it's cute. Um, it looks really, it looks really good. And you know, when you think about all the stuff that she has in there and she's making this in like, oh my gosh, eight minutes, that's all. So yeah. it's pretty cool. This is my last piece of ribbon and it matches the carrot toss with that little black and white buffalo check. So I'm just going to do like a shoe bow. Cross Thank you, Wendy Wreath Design. We, we love that carrot. Um, also with the orange edge. It's one of my favorite holiday ribbons. I have a scrap of this. I don't know what it is, but it's a glitzy mesh and I'm just going to do a scrunchy bow right down in the center. I started it with green. I'm going to end it with green. Okay, so now we've got to go down here and find our Bodabra wire. And there's my loop. I'm going to go ahead and sit there with it, <laughs> hold it so nothing comes out. And I've got to thread my ends through the bunny's head between his ears and here we are i cut it long enough thank goodness all right well we're going to put our loose ends through the loop make sure nothing jumps out and pull it as tight as you can and lift it out of the bodabra look at that nothing's falling out all that stuff but go ahead and keep pulling it and then bring those ends to the back I go back it's hard to believe you can put all that in the Bodabra. It's just amazing. I sure couldn't hold that. Oh, Edna so says much... she's getting an idea. Edna says she's getting an idea of what to make the special ladies at the senior center. That is a great oh. idea. And I think the whole cost on this is under, say, $15 because everything comes from the dollar store. Yeah, everything but the ribbon and uh, and it's... I mean, you can use scraps in the, but if you're making a lot of them, was it Edna that said that if you're making a yeah. lot of these, the investment, when you buy your ribbon and your mesh and all that, it's going to wash out to definitely under $15. But, you know, if you're just buying it for one, it'll be a little bit more than that. But now we're just going to fluff it out. And m the most important part is fluffing. But what I wanted to do was bring, show you how I do this. This is silk wired florals so you can bend them and manipulate them <laughs> Yay, thank you but mm -hmm. then you're just you're just going to pull them up and fluff it and that's i smashed it when i was trying to show y'all something but that's all right it's live but this is this is doesn't take much fluffing at all for this <laughs> yeah thank you there's this one. And Sandy, what do we have up next? Wait, just hold that up so everybody can see it. Oh, and and go ahead and show it. the whole thing if you can. I'll get back a little bit. Let me Can you see it? Isn't that adorable? Everybody, I swear, that is so cute. Now, don't forget to say where you're watching from. And we're getting, Edna says it's gorgeous, or Kathy says it's gorgeous, mm -hmm. Gloria Thank says you. beautiful, Joanne, love it, um, and 
And Amanda from Whimsy Wreath says, I need to start adding more to my Bodabra like Joette does. I know. She got <laughs> me on it. She's got me on a kick of doing that too. So, and you're um, doing well. Um, you do yeah, good actually. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to come back to me. And I'm going to show you, we're trying to give you a little bit of everything in this video. So I'm going to show you how to make um, a cute little hair bow really, really simply. So hello, Linda from Hillsdale, Michigan. And I know the wreath is amazing. So what I'm going to do here is take my Bodabra bow wire, fold it in half, and lay it down into my Bodabra. Then I'm going to take um, a piece of my gingham check and I'm just going to fold it in half and put that into my bodabra. So I want to have the tails even on both sides for this little hair bow. And this is a very super simple way to make a hair bow. So I'll take the wrong side there, bring that back and scrunch it down into the bodabra. Then what I'm going to do is take the right side here, scrunch that in, and bring this back around. And I get what Joette is going to be making a really cute little door hanger. So if you're hearing that in the background, that's what you're hearing. She's just getting all prepped. So I'm that's putting my little... I think that's my dog. Oh, okay. Yes, I'll be right back. <laughs> so we're going to now pull this through, through my slip knot, pull it tight while it's still in the modabra. I'm going to pull it out, separate the ends, and I'm going to bring it around to the back and tie a knot. And then I'm going to take my cute little clip, and I buy these where they already have the grow grain on it. And I'm going to take the side that I want towards the head and put that on top. So now all I'm going to do is just bring this through here and bring this one through there. And then I'm going to just wrap it around. This way it'll stay tight and the wire won't hurt a little girl's head. Bring it around here. And now I'm going to do is just tie a knot here. And in, as soon as I finish this, just to give you guys an idea, Joette's going to come back and she's going to make a really cool um, door hanger vase where it has the flat back. And um, then we're just going to bring this up here and just shape out my loops. Let's get my finger in between this in order to shape it and bring these down. And now you have this adorable little hair bow. So super simple to make. So let me know um, if you want to learn how to do the hair bows or the swags or wreaths. So that way we can plan our YouTube videos and our lives to do the kind of bows that you want us to. So now what I'm going to do is give you back over to Joette. And Joette's going to make a really cool door hanger. So let's go back to Joette now. Thank you, Sandy. That was so cute. Well, as always, it starts out with our Bodabra bow wire folded in half and placed down in the Bodabra. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's a flat sided bucket. And we use them to hang on our doors around here, but you can hang them on the wall. This one has styrofoam already in it. It came like that. Normally I would stuff it myself, but we're going to make that do. So what we're going to start out with is a bundle of Dollar Tree flowers. And we're going to make this one where you can actually, we're going to put bunny ears in, but you can remove them when Easter is over. So we're starting out with a, put it where you can see it. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to put some of the Dollar Tree foliage fern in here. Everything is going to be worked on this one side of the bodabra this time. As when we do the swags, they go to both sides. I've got some dollars. Okay, Jane good. I'm glad you guys. I'm going to interrupt you for just one sec because we're getting comments on the hair bows. And yeah, the small one is great. We have the hair bow tool and ruler so that you can measure with the small one. So we'll definitely, I'll do a live on hair bows um within the next couple of weeks because i'm sure that people want it and we will do more hair bows and smaller bows for um some of our videos that we have coming up 
All right. Yes. They love the hair bows. All right. So I'm placing, I'm just layering it. I'm separating the different colors of flowers and I've layered another piece of a Dollar Tree or Dollar Tree bush. Now I'm doing, I've got all my colors in here. And I'm going to start putting in my big flowers. These are Dollar Tree lilies. And I'm going to place them in a way where they'll, I can pull stuff through them and around them. And I've got, I use these a lot, these hanging flowers from Dollar Tree. I'm going to put them on the sides. And I've got a hydrangea bush, but I want it for filler. So I'm going to cluster it closer to the blooms like this. And then I've got one more piece of uh, fern or one more bush of fern. I'm going to place that where it'll cover the, it'll cover the container. All right. Here's my favorite hack that I learned from Sandy Sandler. First, I'm, this is not the hack. I'm going to put my tails in. Here's the hack. When you're working with this kind of ribbon, that's a little bit, uh, it's not as stiff as you want it to be and you're making something where it might be smashed but you want to use it because you love the color take a stiffer ribbon and this one's not even as wide i just want it for the backing and do this once you put the two together that's that's stiff it's not going anywhere so i'm going to go ahead and do a double bow in here i'm placing them down in the bodabra together with that burlap Joanne, underneath. Joanne Tromley says, hi, Joette. And Jill Edwards hey. says, hi to both of us. And Gloria Kinney says, I want to win. So don't forget, we are going to be giving away a roll of Bodabra scrunchy ribbon at the end of this. So definitely say you want to win and let us know where you're watching from. All right. The, I'm Linda said, that's song. a great idea. Oh. Yes, it's one. Oh, my goodness. It's a lifesaver. I'm, I've got so many more ribbons I can use now because I was avoiding them. All right. I'm doing a twist and fold or a weight twist and fold. And that's it. I only needed a few loops. And I've got, oh, I didn't stick my bunny ears in. The bunny ears can go right here. They can go over. You want them to be able to slip out later on. And I've got a piece of, a little eucalyptus. And the reason you want them to slip out is because this will work for Easter, but then it turns into a, um, it turns into a spring door hanger once you take the um, bunny ears out. That's right. Got to get more use, more mileage out of it that way, Sandy. All right. I'm pulling it out of the Bodabra. I've got it nice and tight and secured with the wires. And I'm going to keep pulling. So that's the key to doing this. If you're going to do bundles like this, make sure you pull them extremely tight. And then when you get them turned over to the back, pull up again. And then you can tie it off and it'll it's going to hold everything. So just and you can twist it. Here's Sandy's another hack I learned from Sandy. Pull tie that in a half knot and then twist it and it's not going to slip. You can let go of it until you finish tying it. So I'm going to tie it off. And I'm going to do a couple knots, flip the excess, and I have this so far, which looks hideous right now, but I'm going to take these stems, if you can see that, I'm holding them together as tight and close as I can to be one, and I'm going to push them straight down into the styrofoam. And you notice I didn't fluff and shape yet, and that's because I don't want to do my work twice. Let's get this bunny ear out of the way. He fits in there after I start fluffing. But anyway, um, Pamela just, wants to know. Pamela wants to know how you take the bunny ears out without messing up the wreath. So you, you'll she'll show go, us that when she's finished. Uh, actually, I'll just go ahead and do it now. There you go. You just slip them out, and it's still tight because that was in the bow. I put it in the bow area. But I'm going to go ahead and fluff and shape, and then I've got the uh, the stiffness to my loops. I don't know if you can see. I feel like I'm too close. Let me raise this camera up a little bit. There. Um, okay, just do your shape out your loops, and then um, you start yes, pulling I everything just, down. Amanda, Amanda, thank you for answering that question. Yes, the um, the mini Bodabra and the regular Bodabra are sold separately on uh, Bodabra.com. Um, Gloria Kinney says it's so cute. She loves it. 
Oh, thank you, Gloria. She is so awesome. Okay, I knocked it over, but I'm now. Can you to bring that free. more in the camera, uh, Joette? We're not really seeing it. Can you bring it more in the camera? I'm gonna oh, have to lay it down. Can you see it now? Not the whole it? thing. Yeah, we can see it now. I don't have it completely fluffed out. It's hard to fluff it where y'all can see it. But what I'm doing is I'm just pulling the little smaller flowers through the lilies, and I'm pulling the greenery down and then the hanging the hanging flowers down it's kind of hard to see but let me turn it sideways i don't even have she's definitely going to try it and um she's i she said she can't see louise said she can't see what you're doing so that's why we need to move it more into the camera so people can see but that's looking better now yeah i don't even have it totally fluffed out and it looks really cute it still looks amazing yeah um but that's i don't know if you can see it when i lay it flat but you take just keep the little flowers to make fill in the holes and then you pull out your other colors through and you'll have a beautiful arrangement in no time and i'm done with it because i can't really fluff it where y'all can can you see show it. it can you bring it up though so that we can see it now so hard to do <laughs> That looks it's really a, pretty. You know, I do these big, tall things. It's hard to get them all on the camera. <laughs> We've struggled with that. Okay. Okay. Joette, thank you so much. That was awesome. And now we're going to go back and we're going to show you how to make a super simple lantern swag for a small lantern. So I'm going to grab my um, bow dabra. I'm going to take my bow dabra bow wire and I'm going to fold it in half. And don't forget, we're going to be picking a winner in about five minutes or so. So make sure that you stay on to hear if you're the winner. We're going to scrunch that down. And now I'm going to take my greenery. And I have these pretty, and, and these are just Dollar Tree um, pieces that I've got. And put that in here. Then I'm going to take my, um, oh my goodness. Bro, you're the, my flower lady. Joette knows what everything's called. And oh, um, these are the lilies. And then I'm going to just put this branch in. This we just cut up and put this in going this way. And then I've got, um, we're just going to put these two little tails in here. Looks like Joette and I chose, that's so funny, we chose the same ribbon to use. And I love these little bees. And then now what I'm going to do is just twist it, and we'll fold it back over, and twist, and fold it back over, and just make sure they're both the same on both sides. And they are. I like, I like you're using the hack. Oh, actually, I didn't do it as a hack. I just thought it would look really pretty together. I actually like this ribbon. I don't think it's too thin, but that's just my opinion. And I like then that. I'll oh, okay. then I'll take my wire. I'm going to pull it through my slip knot. And I know it's a good good minds think alike. You're so right, mm -hmm. Joanne. And Lisa, thank you. I know I love this bee ribbon. I just think it adds. And with the yellow in the flowers, I wanted to add a little bit of yellow into the bow. So we're just going to bring this over. Thank you, Gloria. And Louise, six bow dabras. So for your nieces and taught them all how to use it. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's like me with my niece and nephews. I went to visit them when they were about 11 and 12. And um, they I didn't tell them that I was coming. And um, so now I'll just, all I need to do is just tie it onto my lantern and we'll just tie it onto the handle and i think you guys can probably see this from the front um let's bring this i have to find my bow wire to tie it on here and we'll bring that there and just i'm just going to tie it on with that loop and you can see how super super simple that was 
and it mean it's just really quick and easy to make. But that, you know, Louise, so I started to tell you the story. So I went to visit my niece and nephew and I called, they didn't know I was coming. And my nephew said, oh, I'm so happy you're here, Aunt Sandy. And I go, oh, really? Why? He goes, because we want to make bows and sell them, but we don't have any ribbon. <laughs> so Aunt Sandy went to this store and got them a ton of ribbon. They made money because they didn't have to have any, they had no um, outlay of cash. So it was kind of a funny story. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is take some of this and we'll make a big wreath bow. And I'm just going to lay this down in here and we're going to kind of mix and match. And I'll probably end up curling the end. So I'm not going to bother dovetailing. And now I'm just going to take this and um, twist it and fold it back over and bring it back. And this time I'm not going to twist and we'll just have another tail in here. And I'm going to bring in my green bee. And we're just going to clip a piece here. And I'm going to just, so this is just going to be a loop with tails. But I have to twist the bottom tail so that it comes in the way that I want it. But this tail we're going to leave straight. And then I'm going to fold this back over. And... Take another piece of this ribbon, and again, I'm going to twist the bottom and put it in so that my bees are on the outside. Bring this back over here, and I'm sorry. Oh, we have a winner? I can't see who it is. Oh, Gloria Kinney. Gloria, congratulations. You're our winner. And I'm... Uh, I don't want that one. I think I have a uh, green. Oh, here we go. This was what I wanted. So now I'm going to take a piece of this. And, you know, again, I want to thank all of you for watching. And if you have any friends that you think would like to um, get a Bodabra, please share our videos with them. So we'll put this in here. And I'm going to take another piece of my green and put this down in here so this is a great way also to make bows um and i'm just going to take a piece of this one and put it in the middle here but this is a great way to make bows from scrap ribbon and bring this back up put that right down the center and take my wire bring it up pull it through the slip knot and again, everybody, thank you so much for following us, for watching our videos, for taking the time to comment. I do go through the comments afterwards, so I definitely, and if you're watching on YouTube or in our Facebook group, definitely let me know. Um, and I will look forward. Let's, let's actually bring this out. We will have a live again next week. It will be at... Um, at 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 Mountain, 6 Central, 7 Eastern. So bring these down here. And the probably the hardest part is the fluffing. Let me make sure I keep this all in the camera for you. And you have a really cute, let's bring this in here and fluff it out. And bring that, actually I want this loop here. I could fluff forever. And now you have a really super easy wreath bow. And if you're just joining us, make sure that you tune back in and watch the replay so you can see our, how easy it is to make a mini swag or mini hair bow. And also how, see how Joette made um, her beautiful big Easter swag and Easter door hanger. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye.